Welcome to your simple guide on how to use the SJC's Zoom H2 recording devices. First, let's go through your kit. You'll find two AA batteries, headphones, charger, dynamic microphone, two attachments, and of course your Zoom. Now place the batteries in the back of your Zoom. Take a look at either side of the device. You will find your headphone socket, the volume of the headphones, power switch, and the external charger socket. On the other side, there is an external microphone port, mic gain, line in, in case you're recording from a desk or a PA system, and finally, a USB port to connect your Zoom to a computer. Turn your Zoom on. By switching between the small arrow buttons, either side of the word menu, you are able to decide which mics are activated on the Zoom. Notice also that when you have made a selection, the mic active light turns on to correspond with your selection. Next, plug your headphones in. Let's go through what you're looking at on the screen. We have recording time, make sure these numbers are increasing when you're recording, folder number, file name, levels meter, time remaining on SD card and the battery level. We are now going to format the SD card so that previous recordings will be permanently deleted and you'll have the maximum amount of space available. Press the menu button, use the double arrow buttons to scroll down the list of options until you come to SD card. Press the red dot button to select it. Then, use the double arrow button and red dot button again to select the format option. Press the red dot again to confirm card format. You will then return to the main screen and the words no data will be shown. Another important thing to check is your recording mode. Press the menu button again and this time select the second option, record mode. It will probably be preset to WAV 44.1. But, as a compromise for size and quality, we're going to set it to MP3192. Press the menu button again to return to the main screen. Before we can start recording, we must first go into standby mode. Press the red dot button. Notice the red light is flashing and the number on your screen is not increasing. However, you will be able to hear through your headphones now. Standby allows us to check our levels before we start recording. Once you have relatively good levels, around three quarters along our levels meter, to start recording, press the red dot again and the light will stay constantly red. Next, plug in your external dynamic microphone. The same applies. First, in standby mode, check levels, then press record. Depending on how you are recording, the two attachments can also be utilised. First, you can screw in the stand to have the zoom sit upright by itself on a table. Or you can screw in a handle. To adjust your mic gain, use the little switch on the right hand side of the zoom. Select L for low, M for medium, or H for high. Another option is to change the recording level on a number scale. First, place your zoom in standby mode. Next, press the double arrow buttons to either increase or decrease the recording level. To avoid having to use these options, make sure you have good microphone technique. If you're getting low levels, don't be afraid to move the mic right up close to your talent's mouth or ask them to simply speak louder into the microphone. If you are in standby mode and decide you want to exit it, simply press the play pause button. To listen back to a recording, press the menu button. Use the double arrow buttons again to scroll down to file. Press the red dot to select it. Find the file you are looking for. Press the red button again and select that audio file. You will then return to the main screen and the file name will be present on the screen. To listen to the track, press the play pause button. You will notice the light turns green on the zoom. When you have finished recording, make sure to turn your zoom off. 
Remember that the zoom needs to be turned off in order to connect it to the computer. Remember also when you're done to pack all the pieces of your kit back inside the bag and return it to the SJC camera shop.